Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverages. A very nice generic malt drink, which the brand name is a mix between the name of a cricket ground and someone over the age of 12 but under 20. Either way, welcome back to the game and probably welcome to the episode where we get prisoners, specifically uh, some amount of legendary prisoners. Let's see how we get on. So a couple of things before we crack on. Uh, last time we managed to get in some patrols, we got a lot of flooring placed and generally got it fit for prisoner habitat habitation as far as we could. We do need to do a couple of things. Firstly, I'm going to hire a, another dog as well as another armed guard just so we got the spares there. We also want uh, one, two, three, four more cooks. Uh, janitors and gardeners we probably don't need but we'll see how we get on. And now what I'm going to do is completely shift a lot of the stuff in here. As people have rightly pointed out, and thank you very much for this, we can easily get in uh, the chapel as well as whatever we we happen to place in this area that the problem we had is that the chapel has to be a minimum size of something by six it might actually be six by six and this is only five however if we shift this up like that we will be able to get that in by moving this along so let's do all of that I'm gonna do it to both areas just because we can um, I think it's just yeah the, the, the time is now basically so while the workers are cracking on with that as well as putting in other things that we ordered like the fire sprinklers and the uh, yeah the <laughs> the pipe work over here we just want to check out our policy so current prison policy bear in mind that they will probably be higher rating uh basically they can't work we're not going to say work in the don't mail room uh actually no that is activities, so they can't, is that get mail or can they work in mail? Otherwise, restricted the access. We'll keep that fine. Uh, prison labour, we will turn off for that one. Uh, there are, they are allowed programmes for education and well-being, but not for work. No, that's fine. In terms of the destruction setting, you see most of these... It's saying yeah, they either up the sec or, or max it out. I don't think we really need to bother changing that just yet. We do have... Um, oh, yeah, actually, luxuries, we're going to say... Um, actually, you know what? No, for for all of the inmates, uh, you can see that there. That's pretty much what we want to set. Uh, these three here are fine. So that one we want to match with the maximum security. So, yeah, we search everything, which is fine. We're going to do the same thing for all of those. And um, the other two we don't need to. Uh, that's protective custody, which we're not having and that is um, oh that's criminally insane which we're not having either in terms of meal quantity and variety that's going to stay the same at the medium and medium but we will change that when we get in the nutritional research we don't need to bother with any of this stuff here that's all planting prison uh, visitation policy is fine we've got stun buttons on and that should be about it so in terms of the oh in terms of the building they're actually cracking on very well with that and that door is in the wrong place uh... <laughs> <laughs> is this one in the correct place? Oh, that is in the correct place. So I want to do a couple of things. We want to go for walls and doors um, to the wall white, but not white wall. And <laughs> we want to place that in there. We want to place that in there. We want to put that one in there. Move this along to... Ooh, we're going to have to demolish those. Uh, demolish those... Uh, sections and um, that can go in there so it's dismantle object all of those lights we want to demolish that section of wall I'm sure I selected that that section of wall and that section of wall and then that should have that as the right size and let's see if any of that is actually true after the building job <laughs> <laughs> so over to wall white there we'll extend that into there that should be fine that door is now in where it should be this is being ordered we can then go for demolish walls the wall can be demolished along there it can then be demolished along there which is then change these rooms to now be the right size let me just double check for chapel here chapel is yes we can have it as a 13 by 6 and it requires a 6 by 6 which is what we expected just over to flooring then and we're going to place in the concrete tiles along there and then concrete tiles along there just to finish that off and then finally we'll check out deployment because oh it's actually kept it as exactly what it should be oh apart from apart from this section so that is all visitor only like so that's strange but this is for the the prisoners and why is nobody staffing that hmm let me double check over to our policy and right to the bottom we want to prioritize more Yep, prioritize monitoring is activated. How many staff do we have then? We have 10 guards. 
Two more guards then, and... Uh, what? There we go. Fair enough. Okay, so it's currently sleep time. We're going to double check our regime here, which is going to be completely changed up. So roughly, let's just go across and do our standard, our standard sort of... Uh, set up here so i think it's about that one so we'll have an hour we won't have shower we'll have an hour of free time then we'll go for maybe some eat time one two and then we're going to go with work slash free time one two three four two hours gap one two three four and then we'll have eat at the end uh, maybe one two followed by some work slash lock up in the middle now i don't expect uh, actually let's do that because realistically None of these prisoners will be working. That's not what we are we are focusing on. Um that's not the whole that's the that's the whole point is that we have legendary prisoners and we have to just yeah, basically house them. Reform is something that uh, other prisons may do, but not so much for ours. Anyway, um I think that's about set in. Let me go over to our intake then and let's have a look at it. So we do have a legendary prisoner that we can enable as well as some supermax prisoners as well. So there's no point in getting min, medium or max because basically we know regardless of what category they're going to turn up as legendary prisoners. So we might as well get the better payment for them as well as the good payment over time. So... Naturally, the best option for us would be get a couple of prisoners, so like one or two. Um, that would be the best option because we have uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty. I don't know why I'm counting because it says quite clearly twenty there. So that would be the sensible option. Um, so let's fill capacity and we'll see how we get on. That'll be a 53 grand payment, which will be excellent. And let's just double check our... Let's check our uh, programs here. Staff programs. We are running guard taser certification, which is going in over here. <laughs> Loads of mouse traps. Um, <clears throat> there's only three, and is that to do with the chairs? I really think it is. Let me dump. Uh, let's just rem let's just get rid of some of these. So down to the bottom here, sell object. I can't sell them, so I'm going to dismantle. Hmm, that one, that one, and that one, that one, and that one, and those ones, and I want to just put in some more chairs, because I think that's what is affecting this, so you can see the workers coming along and removing this, uh, I'm going to move probably the, all of this stuff down to the bottom, that's probably the right course of action, let me just speed up while they crack on with that one. Um, so the grip bin I can place in uh, this corner, the uh, rat trap, hang on, rat trap there we'll place along and then this can go in there. Actually no, that I'm going to place in, there we go, place in there and then that means that objects and chairs we can place loads of them in here. Specifically a big line down the bottom which is what we are after. So um, are they going to move that? There's all the chairs, and then there's more chairs, and more chairs. Let's see how we get on with that one, and yeah, <laughs> less than an hour till till I don't know, because I've never never had a facility, facility like this. We've never gone for a full, yeah, a full legendary facility that's, that's worked. I have dabbled with it before, but it's never worked out. Entirely well, and here we go. The first bus arrives. And there we go. The first bus of um, three or four. Oh my good grief. <laughs> okay. And I'm seeing some... Am I seeing some gang traits there? I am. We have two members of the Vipers. So they have some loyal traits as well. So three members of the Vipers. Let's have a quick look. There is... A fire in the kitchen. A fire is started in the kitchen. <laughs> and consider equipping some of my more mischievous prisoners with tracking belts. We're not doing that. The fire is being put out immediately, so that is good. I cannot believe that it did that just as we got prisoners that is that is really throwing us under the bus on that one so there's our prisoners there they are that is <laughs> look how small they look compared to the light the legendary guards um a couple of people have asked and obviously haven't watched the first episode but basically we're, this is a full legendary prisoner but we're lightening the load with the the extra guards um so they're like really really good guards um i think we can even rank some of these up to like specialists and stuff yeah 
uh, rank because they've been here for quite a while. So we'll just select a couple of these. Um, so he can't have a rank. Um, he can't have a rank. Anyway, I just want to double check a couple of things. So it, it's it's just difficult to look at. I can hardly I can hardly select them. Okay, let's go for this guy, Scott Burgess, prisoner number nine four five nine one two two. Extremely strong, extremely tough, extremely volatile, extremely deadly, stalker, fearless, recruiter. If they're part of a gang, they will recruit. An enforcer, intimidated to learn mates unless they belong to the same gang, and loyal, more likely to stay in the gang. So it's all gang stuff, which is I assume, that's what I assumed it was anyway. So we've got a uh, recruiter, loyal, extremely deadly, volatile, cop killer over there. I wonder if any of them have a, a bit of an issue in terms of... Look at the state of that <laughs> Right, okay, that's that's fine. Right, so all these prisoners, they are going to obviously be brought into the reception. They will be searched. They will be given... I was going to say given a new uniform. That's not really the case. Uh, but they are going to be escorted to, obviously, their new their new uh, home. And let's have a quick look. We've got extra grants now, so we can go with things like... Mm, prison manufacturing facility, intimate nutritional research. We can do that. We've got ex-gang member stuff, gang welfare... It's going to be inmate nutritional and research. So we're going to serve um, in our policy three high quantity, high variety meals. And we're going to put that as a eat slash lock up in there. Okay, so that's fine. Um, one curious note. We have just received 20 fully legendary supermax or, and or legendary inmates if we check out intake. Yeah? We're still minus 400 daily cash flow. <laughs> I'm not too concerned because I think we'll be able to deal with it. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. That guy feels really singled out in the, the standard uniform. <laughs> and there we go. There is this place filling up. So, back to building. We, we do need to crack on and continue with the, with the construction. So, I want to put in some concrete tiles. I want to run them along here, and in here, and like so. And I should point out as well that, yeah, we are going to be changing the the flooring at some point. It's just not something I want to be dealing with. So, it's, it's just a bit... It's just a bit messy, really. Anyway, over to bureaucracy, and we're going for... Ooh, I'd very much like legal prep, which is 50 grand. Is it best I do that now? Almost certainly not, but I don't know. Anyway, we do have a uh, dog handler patrolling as well as an armed guard that will cross each other like that, but it's not a problem. And we want to get probably non-lethal snipers, I think. Non-lethal snipers, we want to get in also... Let's have a quick look at our... Where is it? Uh, the programs and reschedule all programs. There we go. Uh, disarming certification. Led in a classroom. Let's train... Oh, no, it's... No, oh, looks like it can't be, uh, can't be set. So there's loads in the queue for that, which we can set up more of that. Not for that one. Not for that one. So that's fine. And we'll run those, because it was based on the based on the size. So yeah, it definitely was a, a chair issue, or the lack of chairs, I guess. So there's all of our legendary prisoners. Let's double check, gangs. Uh, we have... Oh, okay. So we have three Vipers gang members, and also one Bonebreaker gang member, which also happens to be the leader. That is Mark Fairbairn, prisoner number... 9459519. Sentenced for seven years for grievous bodily harm. Looks like they've come up in the ranks, though, which is curious. So we are working on the high variety, high quantity meals. We are working on the training for the staff. We have storage in place. We have visit reception, which I don't think is necessary at all. And we have a lack of a door control system in there because... I'm an idiot, so let's double check, uh, let's, well, not double check, we're just going to fix it, basically, and we'll have a door servo in there, the one place you really need a door servo, and I didn't put a door servo in, so I've prioritised the building of that, which uh, is now finished, we'll go over to utilities, wiring, connections, that's not either of those, and the door control system will go in there. And that is now connected. Also, while I'm here, the phone tap is currently not connected to pretty much anything. It is connected to... 
Nothing. So, phone tap, holding shift, one, two, three, four, five. There you go, there's all five. And over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then that should be it. No. Does it say total number of connections? Oh, it's because it's paused. Unpause. There we go. And it's back to what we would class as normal. Oh, Newell. Solitary. Found drugs. Interesting. Only 16 minutes, so that's probably just them coming in. Uh, looks like we are serving some food, but there is nowhere near enough food on here, so that is of some concern. Let me hire a couple more cooks. It looks like all of this is working, just in case, and many because we can. One, two, three more cookers. Going to double check our power. Power is not terrible, but I am going to put in the remaining capacitors. And we'll crack on with that. Also, while we're on, we'll go for guard towers. I want a guard tower. Where's the best place for a guard tower? I think mm, here to overlook this section, including the outdoor yard, then over here. So we'll do that. Oh, misconduct. Immediate misconduct. This is Mark Pratt. Oh! And that is Guard Zeus, murdered by a prisoner. One hit, and bear in mind we have got the big guards. Looks like the doggo's after them. That's Fang the doggo. Good grief. That is extremely deadly. Yes, what a surprise. Okay, uh, free fire, all sectors, guard response, one, two, and let's see if we can stop this. I don't think Fang is going to take too kindly to their, their master being taken out. Yep, they didn't take too kindly, but they really don't have a really a, uh, any, any comment at this stage now. So there's... Good grief, look at the speed of that dog. That's another Fang. Hang on, what? There's two Fangs. Is this Fang's brother, Fang 2.0? Also met the same fate. And here's the guards coming along. Okay, um, are they trying to get over the wall? They are trying to get over the wall. And they're probably going to make it. And why are they not... The guards are not moving. They're standing around there doing nothing. Okay. Guard response. One, two, three. Go. Yeah, they sort of stopped. They've, they've sort of given up on the whole idea. Oh, hang on. Pratt's coming down this way. He's got a key card. And he's taken out another person. Okay. Right. That's That happened. One, two, three, four, five more guards. One, two, three, four more dog handlers. And, um... Yeah, we've definitely got dogs, we've definitely got armoury with tasers. Tasers are all out, body armour, non-lethal snipers, and guard towers. And there's Newell, who is... I mean, I don't know where they're running, because the, the keycard doesn't do anything. So our armed guard, Benji, here, is not really taking... Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's taking that serious and uh, not taking them in. Right. So, what I'm hearing is, <laughs> what a surprise, legendary prisoners are a nightmare. Is it manageable? <laughs> that, was always the, that was always the question, wasn't it? Is this prison viable? Well, that's what we're going to answer. And we've certainly got a very strong opening statement from the game. <laughs> that, yes, a lot of them are... Even though the needs have been met, even though danger level was low, they don't care. And the fact that these guards are almost twice the size of these legendary prisoners, they don't... It didn't seem to matter. It was a one-hit kill, extremely deadly. My concern is also now that, yes, the Bone Breakers are recruiting. Which means they're going to be taking stuff over. Okay, well, um, in terms of... Patrols, then, we do need to alter some. So, deployment, patrols. We've got the doggos as well as the armed guards. Actually, no, there's no armed guard. Oh, I've got another death. Uh, assigned an ar I'll assign an armed guard there, but I also want a patrol along this fence as an armed guard. I want the same, again, 
down here and then across there. But is that an that's a prisoner? That's Scott Balthazar, who has just killed the dog or Riley, exhausted. Very much, very much exhausted. And again, it's extremely volatile. Even though we have arm guards in place, we have suppression effects. We have bigger guards. We also have a very brave janitor <laughs> cleaning up. Um, even though we have all of that, and in, and in fact, um, is it Lexus Lynn? Hang on, double check. Alexis Lin, suppression rate fades 6% slower than normal. Instigators do not increase the chance of nearby inmates causing trouble, reduces misbehavior frequency of extremely volatile prisoners by 50%. This is half! And um, there's also a couple of inmates who have managed to disarm. That's Petit and Alex Cox. Oh! And it seems that they've not given up on taking out Alex, and he's he's gone. Okay, things are getting out of hand. Right. So we've got an unconscious prisoner here. We've got this prisoner, Warren King, trying to get over there. That's been taken care of. This one, I'm going to have to initiate guard response. And where are they running off to? And also why they're not stopping them. There we go, there's the stun button in effect. And there's another prisoner. Oh, hang on. Oh, dead. Really? Even though it was a stun button. And there's another prisoner gone. And another dog gone. And they're taking the stun button, and they're not using it as stun button. Okay. Um. <laughs> mm-hmm. That prisoner's been so stunned, he's vibrating at a 50 hertz frequency I mean is it really look at the look at the needs they're all fulfilled I mean someone's a bit tired probably because they've spent half the day uh, taking out taking out loads of loads of guards but everything else is sorted <laughs> it's not it's not really a surprise so we've lost another three dog handlers there's another three I'm gonna have to hire another guard we'll have to hire and another armed guard. And one, two, three snipers. Which, to be fair, the workers have yet to place in the guard towers. The guard towers have just come off the scanner, so there we go. Hmm. I'm going to go with eventful day. <laughs> the eventful first day of this facility. Is it going to get any better? Hmm. I'm not convinced, put it that way. <laughs> so they've got a bit of free time. I just double check, gangs. Two Vipers gang members, three Bonebreaker gang members. There's obviously some sort of recruitment going on here. We'll keep an eye on that, just for a moment. Yep, there you go. They've recruited someone. No one wants to become a confidential informant. What a surprise. And... This prisoner is acting out. They seem to have reached their boiling point. Perhaps they aren't doing enough for our prisoners. Make sure their needs are satisfied. Improve their living conditions. They have every single thing, as far as I can tell, taken care of in terms of needs. All needs are taken care of. That prisoner has even the status effect of well-fed. It's just the fact that it's the, the extra difficulty. Okay, so they're acting out. Guard response. Let's just bring loads of guards over. And see if that will do anything. Daily cash flow is not good. Not good at all. Alright. Just waiting for the installation of these towers. And then our snipers can go up there. That will hopefully... Oh yeah, look at all these. Wow. There's loads of them acting out. Even though we are running with, uh, yeah, we're running with all needs being fulfilled. Apart from the odd sleep need, because they are, well, they're not sleeping, but they will do shortly. 
So a tower's going in. Another tower's going to go there. I think a tower there would be... That would be good. But I don't know if we... Strictly need it. I wonder if any programs would help. So... Foundation education, no. General, no. Behavioural therapy, would. Inmates often struggle to control their violent nature. These one-on-one -on -one sessions with the prison psychologist aims to give them the tools necessary to de-escalate any situation they find themselves in before it turns violent. I mean, I think that ship has sailed for the inmates that we have. We have alcoholics group, parole hearing, spiritual guidance. That... Yeah, it's easy, it's repeatable, and instill a sense of calm. That's what it says. Flower therapy? Mm, possibly? Oh, it's intermediate, though. Animal therapy? Inmates can often struggle to control their temper, and four are interested. That's good. Breathe therapy? Ah, ah, 14 interested. Led by a teacher in a yard. Each prisoner requires a gym mat. Right. What we're going to do is go for breathe therapy. And we're going to go for the chapel. So the breathe therapy is easy. It was gym mats. There we go. And then the chapel, which we will build in the next episode. So, that's been a bit of Prison Architect. Our first day with legendary prisoners. <laughs> Cards on the table, I'm not hopeful. <laughs> I'm not hopeful. Naturally, we have to do... Why are these not getting taken to solitary? Are we just... Are we just have a lack of... No, no, guards are fine. 13 available. We're just waiting for them to be shifted. So, yeah, we are really pinning everything on this working and the chapel working. If that can calm the prisoners, even if we half the issues that we've experienced today, that will be enough for the game not to be a failure state because we haven't got failure states on. So, we'll see how we get on with that one. Next episode, we will build the chapel. We'll activate this over here, and we just found a chainsaw inside a gym mat. That's good packing. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And as always, comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings. <laughs>